I am always amazed to see how much the parashio that we are reading on the Shabbat always find a connection with the recent news that we here in America and in, in the world are going through. You know, last week we explained how the book of Shemot is all around the concept of the names and we explained how the Shemot of the Jews, the identity of the Jews, went down to Egypt. Shemot Bnei Israel Habaim Mitzrayim how our essence and our values got deeply involved in the Galut and deeply affected by its consequences. In this week's parasha, parasha Dvaera, we have the same phenomenon, but on a different level. It is again about names. It is again connected to the concept of Shemot. In fact, the very beginning of the parasha, Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, I have three names, or at least three names that you should be aware of. He starts by telling him, by the Ber Elohim El Moshe. Elohim, we know that it's Midat Hadin, it's the harsh judgment, and we see the Vaidaber, the word Daber always connecting to something difficult. And he tells him, Vayomer Elav Ani Hashem, Hashem Yud Kevavke as Midat Rahamim, the name representing mercy and kindness. And he says, Vayomer Elav, Vayomer, that means that it's sweet, that it's positive that we have to be optimistic. But then he tells him about the third name, which is the most important one. But let's first understand the background of this discussion. Moshe Rabbeinu is sad. He's actually depressed. Why depressed? Because it's not just that he sees his brothers suffering. You know, there is nothing worse than thinking that something bad is actually going to solve itself, that you have the solution. And then... That happens to be a false hope. It just doesn't work out. That's the, way, the worst thing. Moshe Rabbeinu is all excited to save the Jewish people. And it doesn't work out. It actually gets worse. And he tells God, I can't do that. I can't handle that stress. I can't handle the, the sorrow and the, the, the pain of my brothers. And at that point, Hashem tells him, I am Elohim. I am Yudke Vavke. But I have another name. And he mentions the Avot. He mentions our forefathers. Va'era. This is the way the parasha starts. Va'era el Avraham el Yitzhak ve'el Yaakov. Be'el, Sha, and then Dai. A name that is so crucial for the Galut, for the Sherbud Mitzrayim, and for even ourselves today. God tells Moshe Rabbeinu, I was full of promises to the forefathers. I promised a descendants, I promised land, I promised so many things, and they never saw anything happen. And you know what? They also never complained about it. They never had doubts in me. It's just like those amazing artists, take Van Gogh and Bach, who painted pieces, who composed pieces of music, and never saw success in their life. They would have never imagined that something would have happened. And yet Van Gogh sold paintings for over a hundred million dollars piece. That's what the Avot had. That's the faith they had in me, says God. How did they do that? Well, it's all in the name, in the third name that he's revealing to Moshe Rabbeinu. Shin, Dalit, and Yod. That name that comes from the word Dai, which in Hebrew signifies enough. In fact, when Hashem created the world, Hachamim said that he used that word to stop the expansion. When scientists say that there was some kind of an expan uh, expansion after the Big Bang, they're not totally wrong about it because according to the Kabbalah, when Hashem created the world, there was this kind of expansion and what stopped it in such a short period of time was the name Sha and then Dai. When Hashem She'amar Le'olamo, Dai, enough, stop. But that name is so important for us because Moshe Rabbeinu is revealed at this point what he needs to remember for the rest of his life. Hashem is telling him, you need 
to tell yourself also, I have my own limits and I need to stop. I need to stop wandering. I need to stop to be in the shoes or in the head of God. I need to stop to be in control, to feel like I'm in charge. And that's exactly how you fight Egypt. Egypt, Mitzrayim in Hebrew signifies Mitzar, it's a fence where we are making sure that everything is under control. That's who Paro is. That's the idea of the pyramids. That's the idea of slavery, where you think that you have power on other people, that you can abuse them. You can use them for your own interest and do whatever you want with them. This is a mentality. This is an ideology. And you, Moshe Rabbeinu, if you want to fight against Paro's ideology, against what Mitzrayim stands for, you need the name of God called Shin, Dalet, and Yod. Let me handle it. Remember that I am in charge. Things don't make sense. Things feel out of control. And that's exactly because you're not God. And that's exactly how you will also save my people. I am amazed by this idea and this concept today in 2021, as we live in a world that is constantly trying to show how humanity, or I would say the elected officials are trying to constantly take control on everything. You have Google, you have WhatsApp, you have Twitter, you have Facebook, and you have all these social medias that are extremely clear about their agenda. Blocking the account of the president isn't just about politics. We obviously know that there is a ratson, there is a will of taking control on the information and on whatever can be said and can be told. Many people to this week switch from WhatsApp to Signal because of that, because we feel that they want to take control over our lives. We have no privacy. You know, there is something else. I'm just amazed how things make sense. The Congress decided to have a very specific vocabulary that is non-gender vocabulary, which means that from now on, we cannot say father and mother. We cannot say uncle or aunt. We have to say parents, not father and not mother. We have to say the father, sister, or the father, bro the, the, the mother and brother, or the, the child of the aunt. I mean, this is just so aberrant because there is a ratzon here to dictate us, to tell us even how to speak, that we can't even use normal, sane words. And that is what we as Jews must fight. This control, this control freak mentality that is surrounding us is exactly the reproduction of Mitzrayim, of Egypt, of the Galu that we need to get ourselves out. And before we deserve, before we see the Mashiach, we need to put this very deep in our heads. That we need to remember the name of Hashem. The Va'era has to be about Shin, Dalet, and Yod. I have to say, die. I have to say, that's it, that's my limit, and I cannot understand the whole picture. I cannot be in full control of what's happening in my life, and of course, in other people's life. This message is how we will get out of the Galut today. And I want, I, w I, w I wish, and I hope that the world will see that truth, that the world will realize that Bore Olam, Behaya Hashem le Melech al Kol Haaretz, by Yamau Yashem Ehad, Ushmo Ehad, he is the one to be truly in charge. Shabbat Shalom Mubarak.